Welcome, welcome, welcome to episode four of the FTMO challenge. In this video, you watch me attempt, and attempt being the operative word given my success, um, <laughs> to turn 40K into 44K in one month. If I win, I actually get 40K to trade with. So that's the FTMO challenge. Let's go. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Any, aka The Knock Trader, your friendly neighborhood swing trader, back again with another video. Remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that like button to get alerts on all my latest videos. As you can probably see from the thumbnail, I've just been yo-yoing the last couple of days. Um, making some, losing some, making some, losing some. Right now, it's not no longer a challenge, it's just a recovery mission. <laughs> my task is just to get back to 40k and hopefully stay in the green so that I can get another chance at this challenge because I'm pretty much halfway through the challenge right now. So it's going to take me half the time to get... Back to 40k and then another 4k on top of that so it's looking bleak but if i get to 40k then it's all right because then i can just redo the challenge i can start again and it's probably more content for you guys and i can try actually try and uh, succeed without having to pay again so um that's that's the goal right now just to get to 40k and not screw up with the remaining days i have left if this is the first episode you're seeing check out episode one two and three chronologically just to see how my progression went before watching this but welcome anyway so with that being said, let's get into the charts. Okay, so I've completed 10 days, had the maximum daily loss of 1,879 pounds. That was, I believe that was, yeah, that was like day three. I was 250 quid short of finishing the challenge completely. Uh, that was around here, I think. And my profit, well, I'm not in profit. I'm still down 2,790 pounds. So still down about three grand. So in essence, I need to make seven grand in 20 days. Um, Still zigzagging, still yo-yoing. I actually made a lot of progress here and then I just lost lost some of it again. <laughs> yeah, I took 44 trades and I lost 99 quid. That day actually it was, was up about 400 quid and then I'm, I took some more and more trades that just, um, it wasn't, there was no one trade that it was death by a thousand cuts. I took lots of trades and then it just kept coming down and down. That was a bad day. Um, and then the next day after that, I, I took two trades, but I don't think I really, really was even trying to trade that day i took two small trades they didn't really pan out and i just left it because I, I didn't really see anything i liked on the 24th i'm not going to really go into that right now because trades are so horrendous i don't i don't even want you guys to know what i was doing that day it's, it's pathetic and i'm embarrassed <laughs> so um i'm gonna go into some of the trades i've made on the 27th which is today well it was today when i'm making this video but might be another day when you're watching it before i get into that let's go into some of the other stats so my equity, so I'm at £37,209 right now. So once again, uh, just shy of £3,000 below um, break even. Um, I've taken 353 trades, which is too much. Yeah. Um, min win weight, 33%. and still needs to try and get that up to about 40, but I don't see that happening now just because of the amount of trades I've taken. Um, they've been so high. Uh, my average profit is €38, Euro, 37 Euros. Average loss is €56. Euros. Uh, my good average risk to reward ratio is 1.55 um, my expectation is minus 7.65 euros and my profit factor is 0 0.79 so if you look at some of my most recent trades um, yeah there's just been lots of small ones really lost 20 lost 50 lost 100 made 400 so I've been I've been keeping my I've been managing my risks um, pretty well but um just been taking lots of small trades that I shouldn't really be taking as opposed to but they've all been in the same pairs because i'm only focusing on these two pairs right now which is euro uh, swiss and the um, aussie um uh, exchange which is asx 200 those are the two i'm focusing on right now um the other day i made a great trade on um um gb pound jpy it was a it was a tell of two two cities or tell of two halves the gbp jpy trade because I had a plan and I showed someone and they showed me their plan and it was the opposite of mine and then I ended up changing my, my idea because I saw theirs and in reality my plan it was actually what happened so that's a lesson to myself I, I need to maybe it's good to share stuff in the community but I shouldn't let my 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 strategy get skewed by what I see other people doing it because if I just stuck to my convictions the trade what I chose was exactly what happened and I ended up profiting on it in the end because I ended up switching my strategy once it wasn't going my way and i saw that it was actually going it was doing what i thought it was going to initially do but it could have saved me a little bit of heartache because i made a couple of losses that shouldn't have been made because i was trying to follow someone else's trade as opposed to just going through my own strategy 
and sometimes I think it's just best to do your own thing because if you lose at least it was your own idea that you lost by rather than losing because you did something that you wouldn't have done otherwise if not being shown by someone else so um yeah I shouldn't have done that but you know when you're in the community you see lots of the different strategies and sometimes you might take something for someone else who thinks a good idea so not to say don't listen to other people but um have faith in the convictions of your own trades if you have a plan already that may be counter to what someone else is showing you before i get into the euro japanese yen trade let me talk about the two trades i'm currently in right now um i've actually exited one but then i'm, I'm re-entered it again because i still think there's more i can squeeze out of it but the first one i'm going to talk about is euro swiss which is euro chf um, which is swiss francs so what i saw here is actually something I tweeted on my Twitter account. So what I saw here was that I actually um, actually tweeted that uh, the Euro Swiss franc looked like a cup and handle and a ball flag bouncing off the 50% Fibonacci level. And this was when price was at around 107.25, something like that. Um, and look at it now, it's, it's almost like it's at 108.15. So what I did was that I took a long here. And why I took a long here was that if you go zoom out let's say zoom out into the daily chart first of all on the daily chart there's this there's this diagonal resistance line that has been respecting for since about 2018 so it's hit it once twice thrice and this is the fourth time it hit it now when it hit it this time i also saw that i also saw that this it looked like a bull flag to me here so price would come up ricocheted and then looked like it was climbing again and what also gave me confidence in that was that the there was like a bullish divergence on the RSI and the MACD was about to curve on the four hour chart. So I took, uh, I was pretty confident that it looked like it was starting to climb again. So I took a long and I climbed, took it all the way up to this top area here. And then I exited just as it hit that, that, that weekly resistance line that I just showed you. But I do not think this is where it ends. I think the story, the, the rest of the story is that it will retrace back down to the old old resistance as a new support like as i've shown on this yellow line and climb to this green zone now this green zone is based off of the fact that that is where the previous um resistance was hit uh, on this uh weekly resistance line i believe that's the next level at which it will find some sort of resistance and then maybe retrace again so i think that even though i've taken a trade and i made some money in it i'm waiting for it to i've actually re-entered and my re-entry was kind of bad um, yeah, I'm kicking myself on my re-entry. I've got a little bit excited because I saw that there was like a, almost like a wedge pattern forming here. So I thought, oh, maybe it was going to wedge and then break out. But in reality, I think it's going to come and retest the support. But I'm in it now, so I'm not going to exit. If, if I'm going to be in a red for a bit, but then it will climb up again. So I'm just waiting for this 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 uh, correction to happen. Hit this old resistance line, then start climbing again. Um, and I believe that take profit will be at about 109.00. So, so that's one of the trades I'm taking and this is that was the thought process behind it which was a bull flag now trade number two is the Australian ASX 200 which is like the equivalent in Australia of like the FTSE or the Dow Jones is their their main um, securities exchange now if you look at previous behavior it's been acting the same for quite some time there's been this diagonal resistance lines that that it's broken out of and then made a little bit of climb to, to near where the old resistance was. So it's done this one, two, three times. And I believe this is going to be the fourth time it's going to do it again. Now, in the previous times, it took about a day to go up about 200 pips. So this time it took a day to go up about 200 pips. This time it took 16 hours to go up one, 106 pips. Um, so I believe that this one is going to be pretty much similar to the other ones. Maybe a day to go on about 150 pips. So what I'm doing is that I believe that to, to be safe, I'm going to take my, I'm going to say my take profit area is going to be just where the previous high was. And um, so that's why, I, that's why I've taken a long around here. And I'm just hoping that overnight to me, overnight to me, but um, uh, the main Asian session, the ASX will, will make a climb the way it's done previous one, two, three, three times. And I've, I've, I've taken a big position on this because I'm, I'm pretty confident this this will happen. It's happened enough times. Hope this isn't the time that it breaks pattern and does something else because I'm I've taken quite a leveraged position on this because I'm kind of chasing um for forty thousand right now and I haven't got time to be taking lots of small trades. So I've I've taken a big position on this. Um, not big enough that it'll destroy the account, but big enough that um if I'm right, I could it'll probably give me like a grand grand and a half, and that'll be good to get me close enough to forty k that I won't have to worry about at least not 
breaking even for the rest of the challenge, if that makes sense. So these are the two trades I'm focusing on. I hope it makes sense to you why I focused on these ones. They look like high conviction trades to me. And you know, as, as I said before, I was taking too many trades. So I've, I've just honed in on a couple of trades like I normally do with my swing trading. I don't know why I don't trade the way I normally do. Um, focus on a couple of trades that are like on the four hour charts that looked that have shown consistent patterns and they're just taking advantage of them, hoping, hoping that they um, give me maximum profit. And I'm going to try and hold them to take profit. I'm not going to exit them early because I really need to maximize the profits I make right now, given the, the time frame I have left to uh, trade with the FTMO challenge. Back to my FTMO tracker. Once again, the FTMO tracker is not in the description section below. It's on my Discord channel. If you join my Discord channel, the link is in the description section below to join the Discord channel. If you join it, you can download this for free and then you can just put in your own data. You can just delete the data here and put in your own data. But it's free to download this Excel that I made. So, um, <laughs> I've, had, <laughs> I've had, what, four green days and one, two, six, seven red days. Terrible. Um, but... I think that's wrong. I don't think I'm down five grand. But uh, D5. So yeah, I think I'm down. Yeah, I'm actually down five grand. Sorry, that's, that's included in how much left target I need to get. So I need four grand plus 1,800. I'm down. So yeah. Uh, yeah, four four green days. Um, today's a green day so far. Um, but I'm still in active positions uh, for, for those two trades. So those are the positions that I've exited today. So I'm in the green for that day. But um and i've got about let's say yeah like 14 days left i'm pretty much halfway through the challenge um still in the red <laughs> what can i say i need to make 418 pounds and 44 pence sorry let me let me change that i need to make 418 pounds and 44 pence daily if i want to hit my target um i'm down 1858 pounds which is a minus 4.65 percent on my account and yeah this is the chart as well this is my little graph that i created this is my tracker graph so um the dots are obviously the um, percentage that i made that day and this is my cumulative total so my cumulative total has yo-yoed this looks like a double bottom to me <laughs> so hopefully this will carry a climbing um <laughs> yeah a bad joke um but yeah so far green day today which is good need another one or two of those and I'll be in the green. And last but not least, Euro Japanese Yen. Now, I made some profit off of this long hair before from here to hair. Um, I posted that on my Twitter as well. But um, I then tried to take another long here. Here. So what happened here is that this gray line, let me make it white actually so you can see it better. There's this gray line, this line here. That I drawn so this line here this thick white line here what happened was price had gone up ricocheted of it gone up ricocheted of it now my theory was that this was an ascending wedge so it was gonna climb up ricochet one more time then sell off but then I saw um, someone else think that um, it might bounce off of this and then make its way up back to this resistance line so I copied that trade and then once it started climbing when it started selling off I realized hmm this this, this might not be what it is this might not be what's happening and then lo and behold it, it, bounced, it, went, it sat on this line for some time and then broke the resistance line and the minute it did that i was like okay i can see what's happening here so um that's when i started taking the shorts just to like counter the trade that just basically take the trade that I should the trade could take it anyway because what i saw here was an ascending wedge you look at these two white lines so take ignore all the noise this looked like an ascending wedge to me and i should have stuck to my guns because i was right it broke the support and then it shot all the way back down to this previous support line here out of it twice it looks like it's gonna start climbing again to be honest i wouldn't be surprised if now it makes a climb that it should have done the other week and then makes its way all the way back up to this line here because as we can see here on the four hour chart the main pattern that this this whole this chart is this currency pair is respecting is a wedge and it's hitting the resistance support resistance support and it hasn't hit the resistance yet for some time even though it's hit the support twice here so i won't be surprised if it does actually make its way back up to this resistance line um given the 180 day simple move and average is also underneath price and curving up which is a sign of bullish momentum so um but i'm not trading it because uh, i've got other trades to, to think about yeah even the macd and rsi all telling me that it looks like it's bullish so i wouldn't be surprised just to, this is one to watch guys even if, if you want to trade it or something um it's not advice i'm giving by the way um 
I wouldn't be I'm gonna keep these lines here then we can revisit this maybe a couple of days um, on one of the other FTMO challenge but I wouldn't be surprised if price climbs and then intersects here because you know levels of confidence are normally where price likes to come and intersect so this is a previous resistance line here this is a previous this this it also intersects with this line here so I wouldn't be surprised if it climbs all the way to this point here and then um, and that's where a good take profit would be before it potentially sells off again so um, I'm going to put a little green box here and then we can revisit this at, at a later date just to see if theory was right. More of the story, don't follow other people's trades, follow your own trades. It's Any, aka The Not Trader signing out.